Hey everyone, welcome back to What Kind of Internet Do You Want? I'm Devin James, filling in for Amy while she's on maternity leave. In today's video, we're diving into how to upload files to the PermaWeb using Arweave. If you need a refresher on how Arweave works, be sure to check out our previous video where we explain the basics of this innovative Web3 technology, which we'll link right here. Today, we'll be covering three popular methods for uploading files to the PermaWeb. Acord, AR Drive, and Bundler. First up is Acord, a platform designed for creators and businesses looking to store and share content on the PermaWeb. Acord offers a generous free storage allowance, 500 megabytes, making it an excellent choice for early adopters. One unique feature of Acord is that you can pay for additional storage using a credit card instead of AR tokens, making it more accessible for those who are new to the world of Web3. To get started with Acord, simply visit acord.com and sign up for an account. I've actually already done that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. And we see a list of our vaults. Normally this would be empty and we'd click new vault and we'd get the option to decide whether it should be public or private, or actually, as you can see in this one, uh, you can invite other users. So it's private to a specific list of users. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And it's nice and easy, just like a Web2 application, you can just drag and drop. So it's warning me this is going to be public, you can be accessed by anyone, do not upload if uh, you have any concerns. So go ahead and upload that first one. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see it. So we'll go to File Info and View Transaction. It's gonna open up a Arweave Block Explorer and we can see we have a transaction ID. It hasn't been found yet, so it's somewhere in the mempool. It hasn't yet been mined, but of course it's cached on their servers, so it's going to wait until it makes it. Uh, and in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and upload the video itself. And again, it gives me a nice warning, and I hit upload. So this one's going to be a little bit slower, so we'll come back once this one is done. Okay, great. The video itself is finished uploading. And let's go ahead and check the status. Yep, our thumbnail is still not yet confirmed. So we'll come back as soon as it is. Okay, so reload and we can see uh, our transaction has been found by the mempool. It still hasn't been uh, confirmed, but it's been found by the mempool and data has been shared and so uh, the Block Explorer actually has access to the uh, file data itself, and you can actually see a preview of our thumbnail right here. So that was nice and easy, huh? Next, let's explore AR Drive, a user-friendly application designed to help you store and manage your data on the Arweave network. To use AR Drive, we'll need an AR Connect wallet, which is a browser extension that securely manages your AR tokens and identity. So let's get started by visiting ardrive.io. We click login, and it's going to give me an opportunity to select a local wallet or use AR Connect, which is a browser extension that I've already got installed and set up. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. This is actually the wallet that I want to use. Grab my AR Connect password. And it lists off all of the permissions that I'll be giving to the application over my wallet. So I'm good with that hit connect and it gives me a little bit of a welcome tour explaining this isn't just a regular cloud sync app it's the beginning of a permanent hard drive so you can click through these things we pay per file seconds from forever it's very quick to upload and then the file is there absolutely forever total privacy control because your files can be public or private and there is no delete button. This content is available forever, so think twice before uploading all your teenage love poetry. Okay, so get myself a nice secure password. And 
agree to the terms of service and go ahead and add a profile. Sure, let's save that. <clears throat> now we click new to create a new drive. And again, we're going to call this what, oops, what kind of internet do you want? No question marks. And we create it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add some files. I will start again with a thumbnail. It's been signed and it will be uploaded publicly. So I click go. Ah, no thanks. Thank you. And there that is. All right, now, while that is getting uploaded to Arweave, I'll go ahead and upload the video itself to R Drive's gateway. So again, it's going to tell me the size of it, gives me the cost. This is about 42 cents for a 50 megabyte file. It's pretty good for forever. All right, and it's been signed and it's uploading. Fantastic. It has been uploaded to R Drive's gateway. Um, and let's see if this first one is yet available. Apparently pending. Okay, so not yet. Okay, we'll keep an eye on when it hits the mempool and is visible to block explorers and we'll come back. So, this has taken a while to actually show the uh, transaction ID, but we have another way that we can look and see if it's already made it. We can just look at the block explorer for the wallet we're using. And there it is. Okay, so let's take a look at this one, this first one we sent. Still listed as pending because there's only two confirmations. But as you can see, there's our image. Pretty cool. And go back and look at the other one. So this is a completely different gateway. And yet, It already has access to the data. So there's the video itself playing on a different gateway showing that uh, the data has been uploaded to Arweave and is being disseminated amongst nodes. So pretty awesome. The third option we'll discuss today is Bundler, a second layer solution built on top of Arweave that optimizes transactions and increases throughput. Bundler is especially useful for developers as it allows them to bundle multiple files and transactions together, resulting in faster uploads and lower fees. To get started with Bundler, visit bundler.network, that's B-U-N-D-L-R.network, and follow the instructions to install and set up the Bundler CLI or command line interface. There's actually a number of different ways that you can use it. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the CLI. Okay. We use Node Package Manager to install it. Okay, done, sweet. So now the important next step, if all we want to do is just get to uploading data as soon as possible, is that we need to fund a node, okay? Um, we're going to basically associate our address with one of Bundler's nodes, 
gateways essentially um, and provide funding for that node so that it can publish content on our behalf, right? So we say bundler fund. This is atomic units. So this is actually what you're looking at here is 0.1 R-weave. Um, the host will be this. Provide a wallet file, which I actually am just going to use the, the wallet file from my AR Connect, which I exported. There it is. And then specify the currency is in our weave. I'm not going to hit go because I've actually already done this. So show you what that looked like. Okay. Same kind of thing. Fund the amount, the host, um, where my uh, key file is and denominated in our weave. Um, it'll pretty often give you this error. It's kind of unassociated. It means that um, uh, a package that it tried to install failed to, but it does have a backup. So it's using pure JS uh, alternatively. Um, loaded the address for my wallet. It then asked me a confirmation. Do I actually want to uh, send this many Winstons, which is 0.1 Rweave? Uh, I said yes, and it gave me a funding receipt, and that's my transaction ID right there. So I know that I'm funded already. So now let's look at how we upload a file. Bundler, upload. I'm just going to do a thumbnail. Do this one. Again, I provide a host. Again, I provide a wallet file. And again, I specify that the currency is our weave. Gives me the same big int error and loads the address and it has uploaded my file. So let's take a look at this. This is the file address on the rweave.net gateway. And there it is. Fantastic. Super, super easy. So they have more than just um, a CLI. They have uh, an SDK and a whole bunch of developer tools that make it nice and easy for you to bundle your content as tightly as possible. Spend as little fees as you can and make it nice and quick and efficient. So there you have it. Three methods for uploading files to the Rweave Permaweb. Acord, AR Drive, and Bundler. We encourage you to try out these platforms and explore other Rweave-based applications as this technology continues to reshape the way we store and share information on the web. Embracing decentralized and permanent storage solutions like Rweave helps create a more resilient, open, and censorship-resistant internet. That's the kind of internet we want. In our next video, we'll go into a bit more detail on the AR Connect wallet, showing how to set it up, how to send tokens to it, and how to export it for use with Bundler, as well as how to use it with a physical hardware wallet. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. You can follow me on Twitter at Devin R. James and Web3 Working Group on all socials at Web3WG. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.